So sometimes what you may want to do is you may want to print out different web pages. So over here you can see that I am in the Wikipedia page and let's just go around and search for Microsoft as right here just like this. So once I do that I'm going to go around and access this particular page. And let's say what I want is I want to print out this page and if I want to print it out then I can go around onto the three dot button right here and then click on print and then you got the printing option as you can see. So I don't have a physical printer right now so I'm just going to choose Adobe PDF right here as an option or you can choose save to PDF as well or you can also go around and choose um, physical printer if you have one. So you can see that all of the contents of the page um, and uh, the web page now gets arranged onto the pages right here. You can choose the copies of the page, you can choose whether the contents should be portrait or landscape and you can also choose to print only the odd pages as well just like this. You can also go around and choose to print from let's say one to three pages only as well and only three pages will be printed. You can go around and choose to whether print um, the color or black and white only as you can see right here. If I were to go around on to more then you can see that you can select out the paper size over here as well. Apart from that you can work around with the actual size just like this. So let's say for example if I were to go around and say 20% then you can see that all of the contents are actually squeezed out right here just like this. So you can go around to the percentage of the uh, um, amount of content that you want to print as well. You can choose pages per seat as well, so just like this. You can have multiple page content and choose the DPI that is the quality of the print right here. So apart from that, you can go around and enable out background graphics uh, as well, but disable gra background graphics to keep it clean as well. You can enable and disable the header and footer as well. Let me just go around and zoom in even more right here. So let's just go around over here so you can see that that is what you have. Let me just go around onto um, 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 actual size right here just like this and maybe even go around and zoom it even more. So you can see that that is what you have, 150% right here, let's say for example. So if I were to go around, you don't really see background graphics right here, but to save ink, you might want to use that. And you can go around with header and footer as well. And you can see the header and footer over here, which you can enable and disable as you like, just like this. So this is what you have, as you can see. So let me just go around for all pages over here, and then all of the pages will be printed out just like this. So now once you're ready to print, then you can simply go around and click on print. And and since I'm using an Adobe PDF, it prompts me to save up the file. So let me just go around and save it out onto desktop over here. So now if um, uh, it were to be printed, then it would be printed over here. And you can see that it is actually um, I'm making uh, this right here. And you can see that this is what you have. So you can see that it printed out this particular piece right here just like this. And let me just go around and rotate it right here just like this. And you can see that if it were to be printed, then it would be printed out like this as you can see. So that is how you can go around and print out web pages by using Microsoft as browser. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.